Well, the first invention the judges picked is an invention that could revolutionise something we all take for granted. Joining. Whenever you make something, a chair, a car, a house, you need to join things together. Today we use glue, rivets, screws, nails, but tomorrow we might chuck them all in the bin and use join locks. I'm Dean Cameron, I live in Mullaney and this is my son Ziggy. My dad invented join locks. You might remember we were on the show a couple of years ago with Biolytics. It's a sewerage treatment system. The tanks that we use for those are large and I wanted to come up with a way to make the tanks so that they could be compacted down and travel much more efficiently. And we got some plastics industry experts together in the same room and we all thrashed around, how can we do this? The general opinion at that time was, well, that was mission impossible. It's very difficult to join large flexible parts together in a quick, convenient and leak-proof manner. I was reading a book to my little boy and came across the muscle and how it has byssus threads which actually pull the muscle onto the rock. And I knew that had to be the secret to joining the parts really securely. The two parts intermesh like a zipper and then the key locks in between those two parts so that it's a very secure joint. Wish me luck, guys. It's a rare honour to be able to get into the grand final and for me, yeah, that, that really is a, uh, a privilege that um, I'm, I'm proud of. Please welcome from the Queensland Sunshine Coast, Mullaney in particular, Dean Cameron. Hi, Dean, welcome back. How are you? Thank, Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Now this is a revolutionary thing, isn't it? Because here we, we've got, we, you can join things with rivets or, or welding or all sorts of things, but, but you can really revolutionise the wonderful world of joining with something as simple as, well it looks simple, but I'm not, you, you just put them together, pop that in, and that is as strong as you want to make it, isn't it? Yeah. And that's, that's the, uh, the secret is you only actually need to move it one, yeah. one small bit. It yeah. doesn't have to be slid along the whole that's thing. That's it. And, it's, and, yeah. and what, what can you use that for, for example? Uh, this could be used for panels, for like in a fit-out in, yeah. in a shop or in a, in a uh, high-rise building where you need to have quick panels yep. that you can move around. Going, like there's two there, there joined one. by another one, going around corners. corner join. Yeah, that's and if we had a look at your egg here that I know you wanted yeah. to <laughs> make a dramatic entrance <laughs> in jumping out of, um, to make that perfectly smooth thing, you can just see from the inside the joints, but virtually perfectly smooth from anything else other than join locks would be really, really hard. It would be very difficult. Yeah. You, you know the curves on, on planes, for example, where the, the wing curves onto the body and so on. There's millions of screws literally on a plane to hold that together. Come over to the panel and what's really, I mean you might think oh this is a sort of an interesting alternative but what makes it really marketable is that you reckon for some joints you can do them at, uh, at 3% of, of the, the price, cost. Yeah. others might be 8% yeah. but you can really v a, a greatly reduced, it's, it's designed for mass production. Chris, obviously you've got your tanks because that's what you're already in the business of but all of the other uses are potentially could be done with this. Where are you going to go first with that? After the last show there was an enormous response of people coming to us with needs for packaging that could flat pack. That was interestingly one of the, with escalating fuel prices and you know in a, in a situation where it's not going to get any better on that front that's been an enormous driver and, and about 10 of the ones that have come to us have all related to being able to flat pack yeah. and then assemble a really strong structure. Yeah. Betty? Okay. Oh, the thing that really blew me and the other panellists away when you are on the show, Dean, was the applications, the things mm. like the potential for it to be used in aircraft, fuselage and in, um, mm. and in cars and stuff. And I'm just wondering, with all the contact you've had, have you been approached by manufacturers for that Automotive, area? Automotive, yes, we have. Yeah. Automotive? Just, but particularly with um, uh, this one um, a manufacturer who's come to us who, uh, the crumple zone area yeah. in particular, which now they rivet, and um, they actually want to change that so that you know, join locks would be an ideal application. Quite a big that. market, cars, I've heard. Uh, <laughs> quite a big market. At also, the moment, uh, might, not be, might not have a future, but at the moment... <laughs> 
Dean, is it possible for that key that you slide in to be a structural element, say, like the ribs on the plane? Yes. Yeah, yeah? That, that's exactly, yeah. And, um, and also to, say, you know, the studs of a wall on a house sort of thing, so they can be totally load-bearing and structural? And join the other skin. That's the mm. important mm. element, yeah, because it, 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 it's not a useless element at all. As well as locking the joint together mm. really firmly, it can actually be a connecting structure, which wow. gives you that box construction, which is even stronger. Mm. Yeah. Fabulous. Summing up, Chris. I, I think this is absolutely, without doubt, deservedly one of the five best inventions in mm. Australia this year, so mm. well done. Thank you. I feel like I'm at the birth of industrial <laughs> Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it feels. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's so elemental. You've taken that kind of skin and bone, you mm. know, nail to bone, mm. you know, approach to construction and truly made those one. Mm. It's going to lead to the reinvention and invention of so many other things. Things. Mm. And in the new, new, new inventors in 2000, <laughs> 2025, we'll be sitting at a panel put together with joy locks. So <laughs> please take Dean Cameron, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean. Good on you. The 2008 invention of the year is join locks. <laughs> Dean. Well, thank you all, and uh, the, 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 especially to the ABC for, for, for popularising innovation and invention. And I'd also like to actually thank our, the wonderful Join Locks team, and particularly my partner, Jenny. Thank um, you all. Good on you, Dean. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. The thing that makes me most proud is that there's so many inventors and designers and manufacturers who've contacted me wanting to use it and so that kind of, you know, that's really first prize for me.